How many rest days should you have per week? Coming up next. Welcome back to Greek Fit, where we discuss everything related with fitness, nutrition and philosophy. Today we are discussing how many rest days you should have in your weekly schedule, why you should have them and what should be the criteria upon which you can judge if and how many you should have during your weekly schedule. So, the first criteria that needs to be addressed when it comes to having rest days is how much of a rest you are having. So, that means that depending on how good you are sleeping, how good you are eating, how active you are in your daily lifestyle and in general how much your body can regenerate and rejuvenate will be a big factor in determining on how many rest days you should have in your weekly schedule. It is known that good quality sleep, good quality nutrition and in general living a healthy lifestyle without too much stress and being in a good positive mentality as much of the time as we can is proven to work synergistically and help us recover better and perform better once we get to our workouts. Now, the second criteria you need to define is what your goals are and what your workouts should be like. This essentially means that if your goals are just to tone up your body and your workouts are body weight exercises and you are doing them five times per week, even six times, maybe one day of rest will be more than enough for you to recover and be able to perform them again, again as they're not so stressful and your goals are not so ambitious, so to say. On the contrary side of things, if your goal is to achieve maximum performance in some kind of sport or some kind of uh, weightlifting uh, activity or something of that matter, then you should readdress how much you are, uh, how many days you are taking to recover because the chances are that your training needs to fit your goals as we've said in many videos before and this means that essentially you will be going really hard in your training sessions and that means that pushing your body harder you need to let more of your body recover once you are in the recovery stage. So in general terms while this is not absolute, tr absolutely true in general terms the more pressure you're going to put on your body the more you will tax it the more you will need of a good quality of recovery and the more you will need more days of rest through your week. By the way, are you struggling more to find out how you can recover better in between your workouts or are you having trouble to fine-tune your training uh, in uh, regards to reaching your goals? Feel free to let me know down below so I can make sure to address it in a future video. Now, the third criteria you need to check and define what is best for you is how much of a tolerance you have and what stage of uh, performing you are on. This is basically saying that different kind of physiologies, different kind of body types, different kind of people depending on your lifestyle as we've said and your training will have different rates of recovery. Some will be readier than others to perform. Uh, some might take a little bit longer to recover but when they do perform are actually better in performance. This all has to do with a variety of things like uh, what your training is like as we've said but also in your individual differences, what you've done in your past, how many years or how much of uh, uh, tolerance and volume you have built in your training through the previous years and all this really affects how much you will be able to recover from your workouts. Also of course genetics and body types as we've said play a big role 
but our goal here is to set those factors aside and just focus on the things we can change and not bother about what we can't change. That's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please hit the like button. If you want to see more videos coming soon, hit the subscribe button. And of course, any questions or suggestions you have, feel free to leave them down below and I will make sure to answer them. Thank you.